car. Okay. I prefer car because it's easy and uh, kind of laziness, uh, but it's good for me. Sometimes ride my bike, but it, for, probably for the past year, I've strictly been driving my car. I'm sorry. That you know, I'm since that, that I'm using bicycle, it will be hard for me that you know, going out from place to place. I'm thinking to buy a car. Uh, I, I prefer to cycle because it's easier for me to go from one class to another class because you know it's not very tiring and it takes me a shorter time. If I had a bike here, mm -hmm. yes, I'd love, I'd love to use it. In the winter, no, that would suck. <laughs> Well, you know, I am waiting the winter, you know, <laughs> because, you know, anyone who not come from the Middle East, we want to see the winter in the United States. Most of the time I cross the campus, sometimes I cycle, sometimes I walk. Taking my car is just, it just sucks. So if transportation was a lot better, for transportation, I'd definitely do that. Environmentally, I am happy, uh, I am happy for, uh, I'm happy for, you, uh, for walking or using shuttle, but for resting the of making easier, I think the car is easier to do. The other people, they told me that snow is big, get huge and big. You know, I think the only choice is to buy a car to, you know, move from point to another one. I often have meetings or activities that take me off campus during the day. I do have to go to Research Park often, which which is a little far for a walk, so I'll, I'll drive when I do that. The shuttles seem, shuttles seem a little non-seen. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're not really apparent and, and handy, so. But um, what's cool in Salt Lake is they're starting the biking um, program um, where there's stations where you can just like yeah. put your card in yeah. Yeah. and pay like $2 to rent a bike and ride it to the next station somewhere else and then drop it off there. And like if you take the bike, then they keep charging your card until you buy it. So I think that'd be cool at a campus like this. Yeah, providing free bike around university is a really good idea because definitely it's for some people who don't bring bike to school. They can use the bike around the campus. It helps them to save a lot of time and also energy. Would I use a bike sharing program on campus? Probably not because I'm usually not dressed for riding bikes. I wear a lot of skirts or skirt suits in the office or have high heels. Okay, I, I would like to see a uh, bicycle share programming because uh, it has a lot of uh, benefits. Uh, good for a student. Ignoring walking, we can use it. So it's easy for us to make short time to reach our class. Because you know, many people who don't, who don't you know, try to use bicycle before, they will have the chance to try it, you know, even, you know, some people, they don't want, you know, to try the bicycle. But, you know, this idea will, will help people, you know, to be, be easy for the people to move around the campus. Um, since I'm from Malaysia, so I really like some place, the places that are very green. And in front of this place is very green, but in front of the library is like, I think it's from concrete. So I prefer this place for green because after you go to class, you want to rest with your friends. And green place is the best place for you to come yourself. President Circle, okay. yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's just a big open space and it's like an actual college type setting. Well, most of the time, you know, I see the people are gathering here near from the union and also in the middle from the library. I really don't see too many of them on this campus to be honest. The fountain now on Library Plaza has become a place for more gathering as their uh, as the chairs came, the chairs and tables and the food truck. It's it's not quite the the hub of social activity and social gathering that that I think it really could be.